We are going to quickly compare the new Pico 4 with the Quest 2. If you are in doubt of which headset to buy or if you are not sure if you should make the switch, then I hope this video will help you a bit and give some clarity. For a full overview of the Pico 4, check out my Pico 4 review video. Now let's take a look at the prices first. The Pico 4 is available for 429 euros and that is for the 128 gigabyte version and 499 euros for the 256 gigabyte version. The Quest 2 is available for 449 euros and that is for the 128 gigabyte version and 549 euros for the 256 gigabyte version. The Pico 4 here with its default head strap is exactly 600 grams. The Quest 2 with its default head strap is 539 grams. So the Quest 2 is lighter here. However, with the Elite battery strap of the Quest 2, the Quest 2 goes over just 800 grams and that is kind of heavy. The Pico 4 has a comfortable head strap that does not need replacements and in order to make the Quest 2 somewhat more comfortable, you will at least need the basic Elite strap which will make the Quest 2 go to 718 grams. The Pico 4 is therefore lighter. The lenses. The Quest 2 comes with Fresnel lenses with a resolution of 1832 by 1920 per eye and the Pico 4 has pancake lenses and come with a display per eye of 2160 by 2160 per eye. Also when it comes to adjusting the IPD, the Pico 4 has an automatic IPD adjuster that goes from 62 to 72 mm and the Quest 2 has a 3 step slide adjust that offers 58 mm, 63 mm and 68 mm. The Pico 4 when it comes to the lenses and the IPD adjuster has a nice advantage here. And also by the way the Pico 4 can go lower but that crushes my, uh, my nose. When it comes to the refresh rate, the Quest 2 offers a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz while the Pico 4 has a maximum of 90Hz. The Quest 2 wins it on this aspect. As for the tracking cameras, both headsets have 4 tracking cameras but the Quest 2 has a low res grayscale pass through while the Pico 4 has a high res color pass through which is not 3D by the way but 2D. The Pico 4 scores here. When it comes to audio, both headsets offer ok audio. I find it hard to have a winner here but I tend to go for the Quest 2 here because it has a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Pico 4 does not have one, although you could get a USB-C to jack adapter to fix that problem. Do know that both headsets have Bluetooth so you can connect your headphones and I highly advise that anyway to get fully immersed. Last but not least, when it comes to the hardware of these headsets, they both have the same chips, the Snapdragon XR2, but the Quest 2 has 6GB of RAM while the Pico 4 has 8GB and you can see that as well when playing games and loading times, the Pico 4 is somewhat faster here. When it comes to the controllers, the Quest 2 has somewhat bigger controllers and has the tracking ring on the top, while the Pico 4 has somewhat smaller controllers and the tracking rings are on the top going from back to front. This means that compared to the Quest 2 you can hold them somewhat closer together. Now I like the Pico 4 controllers but I also really like the Quest controllers. The Quest 2 controllers feel a bit more sturdy and of better quality so I will give them both a plus here. Now when it comes to comfort we will have to take a look at the face cover and the default strap. Now for the Quest 2 you can buy many accessories online but for this one we will just take a look at the default ones that come with the box. The Pico 4 comes with a nice head strap and the Quest 2 comes with some clumsy strap that is just not as comfortable as the Pico 4, although this is of course very subjective. Many of you might actually like the default Quest 2 head strap, I don't know. But looking at both headsets coming out of the box, the Pico 4 wins it in comfort. Trust me in that. Now let's get in the headset itself and check out the software and the UI. When starting the Pico 4 as it is right now, it feels somewhat empty. I mean, it has loads of games and web apps that you can access, but you can clearly see that the software is new and, and that the UI needs to mature a bit. It might look very similar to the Quest 2, but if we take a look at the UI interface of the Quest 2, then the Quest 2 UI just feels more intuitive in a way. But we also have to acknowledge that the Quest 2 has a two year head start to the Pico software. So, you know, let's see what they will do. Also with the Pico 4, I have seen some minor bugs, but I'm sure Pico will get rid of them soon. But when it comes to software and the UI, the Quest 2 scores better here than the Pico 4 in my opinion. Now for all those standalone gamers out there, pay attention. 
both the Quest 2 and the Pico 4 have a great amount of games in the library. And many games that you can play on the Quest 2, you can play on the Pico 4 as well. And in the future, that will just be more and more. However, over these two years, the Quest 2 has some exclusives that you can't find on the Pico 4. Think of the amazing Resident Evil 4, for example the upcoming Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and the very popular Beat Saber. Right now, these titles are not available on the Pico 4. Pico 4 still needs to grow, developers would have to publish their games on the Pico software. Also keep in mind that if you already have a huge amount of games in your Quest 2 library, you can't transfer those games to the Pico 4. I would just stay with the Quest 2 here and not make that switch. If you are completely new however to VR and you are not really hyped for those exclusives, then go for the Pico 4. Let's make the switch to PC VR gaming. Both the Quest 2 and the Pico 4 you can connect to your PC. On both headsets that can either be done wirelessly or via a cable. It is also possible to install virtual desktop for streaming PC VR games to your headset and having just a bit more options to tweak with to improve the quality. Now when playing PC VR on the Quest 2 you have a lot of settings that you can adjust. What I really like is that you can set it to 72, 80, 90 or 120 Hz and the Pico 4 offers only 72 and 90. Also in the Oculus app you have a slider so you can adjust the render scaling to make the image more clear. With the Pico 4 right now and the streaming assistant that you need to install on your computer to play PC VR games, it only offers three options, smooth, SD and HD. I would like to have more options here for the render scaling, but I guess, you know, they will add them later as they upgrade the software a bit. I had no Quest 2 games, so I did not have to worry about switching and losing that much. But I can tell you one thing when it comes to PC VR gaming. The comfort of the Pico 4 is what made me switch already. I am someone that plays quite a lot of flight simulators and simulation games in general, and where you have to look around a lot. The Quest 2, after an hour of gameplay, was always starting to hurt my neck. And with the Pico 4, I don't have that problem. The only downside is that with the Pico 4 it does not offer many settings to adjust the quality of the image, so I hope that comes later. If you are looking for a VR headset to just play PC VR games and you need to decide between the Quest 2 and the Pico 4, then take the Pico 4. Now let's take a look at the entertainment side here and with that I mean watching movies and all. Right now the Quest 2 offers a more mature and full library of great documentaries, shows and events, specifically made for VR. The Pico 4 has Pico Video which now offers just some VR shows and videos, but it is not that much. It will grow for sure. Of course on both headsets you can watch YouTube or use other app apps like HBO Max, Prime Video and Disney Plus, but if you would really like to have a full library of VR content, the Quest 2 is the better pick here. But keep in mind the Pico 4 is lighter and therefore more comfortable for watching longer sessions. Let's take a look at fitness. It is clear that the Pico 4 during its announcement has a focus on fitness besides gaming. On the box fitness is even mentioned first and then gaming. And they have all the right to do so. With the headset being very light the Pico 4 is perfect for fitness and doing workouts. Something I would absolutely not do with the Quest 2 as that is in my opinion just too much of a strain on my neck. The Pico 4 comes with standard fitness apps and a tracker to see how much calories you have burned. You can set goals, make a plan and get sweaty. But hey, this can also of course be done with the Quest 2 by using the app MetaQuest Move. But for all those fitness gurus out there, get the Pico 4, trust me it is lightweight has a focus on fitness and already has the apps to steam you ready to participate in the next Olympics. Now last but not least, productivity. Meta seems to be fully invested in productivity, competing with Apple and Microsoft. The Quest 2 offers some great productivity apps like Workrooms and much more that you can use to work better as a team. The Pico 4 has not much of that, I haven't seen it that much, and in their communication I haven't heard anything about it. Remember that ByteDance, the company behind TikTok, is behind the Pico 4, so I guess they would focus more on entertainment than productivity here. So for productivity, stick with the Quest 2, and if this is very important for you, then just wait for the Quest 3 or the Quest Pro or whatever. Now there is much more to discuss, but I hope this gave you some clarity in the two options. Both headsets are great and based on what you would like to do with it, you will have to make your own decision. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and let me know what you prefer and why. This might help many new people out there. Now don't forget that if you want to keep up to date with the latest PC VR updates, then subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you all in the next one. Ciao ciao!